Y'all know we can't do a show without this now, right? Let's do a test real quick. Yes, sir. We are live. What is going on? My family over here. How you guys doing? Good to see all of you guys in the chat. Hope you guys are as excited as I am for this. I am looking forward to the show. Uh, shout out to everybody in the chat. Of course, our channel members. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys very, very much. Um, thanks for my, well, I'm going to answer some questions. So we got 26 minutes here to the show, so definitely going to answer a few of your questions. I know a lot of you guys were definitely looking forward to tomorrow. Um, I've been talking to a bunch of people uh, on the PlayStation side. I'm not going to tell you is exactly who it is because that will kind of spoil who I have for you, who I have lined up for you guys. But I'm not sure, like, I'm going to be honest with you. It's 50-50 right now on whether or not they can make it for tomorrow. Um, the reason why is the different time zone. That makes sense. So we'll see tomorrow if I can get them on here. I already uh, was recommended a uh, replacement for um, for this particular de uh, dev as well. And I'm waiting for the uh, hit, you know for them to hit me up for the re uh, reply for it. Okay. So we'll find out tomorrow. But if I can't get them for that. Just know this, though. We have we have them for Monday. And, of course, I have a big, big, big interview for you guys for Friday. The following Friday, that is. Okay? So, I have a lot of stuff lined up for you guys. So, if you guys are new here, hit that uh, subscribe button. Everybody, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, we got fifty, almost 50 people up in here. Go ahead and share it out. Let's definitely have some fun. Got a lot of stuff lined up for you guys. I'm having too much fun with this. And uh, I want to say shout out to you guys for making all this possible. Seriously. A lot of things have uh, come, let's just say a lot of doors have opened up for your boy, and I'm so looking forward to the future. That's for damn sure. Let me go ahead and say what's up to all you awesome people in the chat, and uh, we'll answer any other questions along the way. What's up, Dribble? 
my brother Hustle and Motivate. Yo, speaking of Hustle and Motivate, make sure you guys show that dude some love. Go check out his channel. He has a real good channel. He puts out a lot of good quality content. I appreciate you, Hustle, for coming through. Thank you. Got Jerry A. What's up? We got Dawn, a.k.a. Ice Queen Gaming. How you doing? TX Gamer, my dude. What's up, bro? Yo, we got to do the other cringy live stream. We'll probably do that on Friday. Uh, we'll watch some cringy stuff on uh, on uh, Twitch. I've been meaning to do that, but I've just been busy with other stuff outside of the YouTube perspective. What's up, David? Titan Slayer, good to see you. We got Dan S. We got Marlesco. Good to see you. Always a good supporter, man. I appreciate you, man. Always in the chat. I see you, man. My brother Jackknife, how you doing? Tool Man, uh, how you doing? Good to see you. What else is up in here? I think I saw a deaf singer. Yes, I did. We saw Chili. What's up, brother? Briar Rios, what's going on? <clears throat> Who else is in here? Billy. Blaze 4K. Yo, Blaze, you want to pull up? I'll jump in the Discord. You can uh, watch this with me if you want. Indie Gamer. That's another good dude to check out, man. The Indie Gamer. Really good YouTuber, man. Check him out as well. Appreciate you, my guy. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Rob Jones. What's up, bro? Jacob, how you doing? And I think I said what's up to everybody. Spencer Paulson, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Talus, what's going on, man? I, I, I haven't seen Talus in a minute. What's up, man? Good to see you. Starting, I'm starting to feel a certain way, Talus. I'm the same, bro. I'm, I'm starting I'm starting to literally feel a certain way with you, man. Usually you always here every day. You know what I mean? I don't even see you. What's, what I do? What, was it something that I said? <laughs> what's up samurai <laughs> parko tech what's going on it says bring j dub back to rgt um i wouldn't mind bringing him on rgt if he wants it's up to him i know he just got his um he just got his well he just got he made a new twitch or that that twitch twitter um on twitter he made a new twitter account but yeah they uh they don't got him banned off of off of his other account though but it's good to have him back on twitter that's a good dude right there as well Mark Reimer, what's going on? Overdone, of course, what's going on? Good to see you. The Ghost Who Walks, that's his name. The Ghost Who Walks, Overdone. For those of you I don't know what that means, it's the Phantom. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me make sure we're in the Discord here. Ravenflow, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Give me one second. Just going to fire up Discord. Make sure um, if any of the panel members want on, they can jump in here. So give me five seconds. Uh, hmm, most of them are in the solid cast, but you never know. I'll just do this. There we go. Problem solved. And what I'll do here is adjust a few things. Uh, let's see. Got to adjust that one. And adjust that one. Finally, I finally found a way to make my headset work with the stream. So that's another good thing. I can hear you guys in clarity while I do the show. Happy for that. Happy for that. I appreciate you, Chief. Much love, man. Thank you. Uh, you saw that crazy Activision post I tagged you on. But I did. I've seen. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff you guys tagged me into. Um, it's great. You know, it's crazy, especially we talk about, uh, Returnal. Um, but I'll get to that in a second. What's up, Sonny? But yeah, when we're talking about Returnal now, it's funny cause we were just talking with, um, with, uh, Supernova about Returnal in the last live stream we did. Remember that? Remember how he even brought that up? Like how the media was going to perceive that game. Cause it's, it's not really an easy game. It's more, it's more of a challenge type of game. And a lot of, de not developers, but a lot of journalists don't like challenging games. And they'll definitely review bomb something if they don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Look at uh, Cuphead. Cuphead got... <laughs> yeah, I remember the Cuphead debacle where the dude couldn't get past the first uh, tutorial level. And he was like, oh, this game's too hard. This game is unplayable. This game is blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> you, you kind of get what I'm talking about here. It's like... Easy games immediately score higher scores for a lot of these, um, a lot of journalists. I've seen some of these reviews again. I said this on Solidcast, um, yesterday. My review, like, not review, but my, like, expectation on the Metacritic that I thought it was going to get was about, like, an 85, 86, and I think that's where it's at right now on Metacritic, so, like, an 85, 86. So, 
I'm not sure if it's dropping. It probably will go higher. It'll probably stay at 85, 86. Not really sure how it's going to be perceived at that point. But we'll see how Returnal does, you know, as the reviews keep coming in. For me personally, you know, again, um, I already told you guys I'm, I'm streaming it. So midnight later today, if you guys want to come through, it's already on the channel. Um, I already got it set up. So I'll be live streaming that and seeing uh, what's up with the game, man. If it's worth the quote unquote 70 bucks, we'll, we'll definitely talk about it. We'll see what's up. I'm hearing good things, though. Everybody's saying that the dual sense, you know, it takes full advantage of the dual sense. You can feel the raindrops in the controller. A lot of crazy stuff that they're really pushing with the game. So it probably more than likely is that next tier experience in a way um, it, it could feel like. So we'll see. So I can't wait to get a PS5. Uh, you'll get one. It's about to get easier, a lot easier for you to get one very soon. I saw these game journalists wanting more games to have auto battle. Yeah, I seen that particular developer too. She's been blocking everybody. She blocked Luca. She blocked. Uh, she blocked Erica. She blocked a lot of people who basically crit, uh, criticized uh, her wanting an auto boss. <laughs> playthrough thing now for those of you that don't know what that is for those of you in the chat that don't even know what the hell i'm talking about the whole auto boss thing basically how it work is you would just press forward and the game will literally play itself you basically beat the boss without you having to press a button you just hold forward so basically that's what she wants she wants that in all games she wants an auto um an auto boss like battle thing for you like auto play you just hold forward now you guys remember wasn't Sony fixing AI? They were looking into AI for games. I'm not blocked by her, but I blocked her. Uh, hustle. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not looking at this damn uh, play, this profile. But I remember Sony was looking into AI not too long ago. There was a report going around about that. That Sony was looking into improving AI or looking into AI. Let me tell you, man. If, if they're doing that for these particular journalists, that's a little weird to me. I mean... <sighs> These are games, man. They're, you're, you're, you're supposed to play them, to experience them, then review them. I get that there's deadlines for each particular game, and not every game is easy to beat and get it out there on a said deadline, but it's like, bro, you can't just, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 can't, you can't do this, man. You, you really can't do this. Like, that's, that's not a good look. It looks bad on all sides, and that was the case. So... <laughs> I'm just saying, man, that's that's a terrible look. It's such a terrible look if they actually are, are doing it. But that's the weirdest thing about it. Uh, PS5 to be the next Diablo bots to farm when you got to work. Bro, if that, oh, man, I, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine, bro? Oh, man, this woman was blocking everybody who critiqued her, too. I'm talking about you just, like, like I'm talking about, like, you just, very politely critiqued her like okay that's not really how things should go blocked <laughs> she was like no we need to have auto boss playthroughs i'm like bro not everybody wants that particular thing and not everybody needs that in games you don't need that in every game you really don't i uh, remember the ai solution too i do remember the ai solution yes sir yeah that's the thing about uh res um uh, resident evil um, Resident Evil, I've seen a little bit of, like, the gameplay. I've seen a little bit, like, um, of what you're going to be running into, how they're doing it a little bit more. And let me tell you, man, um, you know, when we get Returnal out the way, because that comes out May 7th, uh, you know, Resident Evil, because I'm streaming that as well for you guys. I'm not going to lie, man, Resident Evil 7, or Resident Evil 8, I'm sorry, looks fantastic. Like, from start to finish, it's looking like it's going to be that next tier you know what i mean it's like it's, it's it really looks like it's going to be that next gen experience I, I can't wait to experience that it looks so good return looks good too but i'm saying like in terms of like the multi-plats this is like the true true first one it feels like to me uh resident evil i'm loving what they're doing here it looks really really good i loved resident evil 7 even though i didn't really get scared in resident evil 7 if that makes sense like i played i played that all by myself there I, it was dark so i didn't get scared once not even with the creepy dad in resident evil 7 i beat that game it was like well we're done <laughs> you know what i'm saying this one this one looks like it's definitely going to be that um that one that might break your boy live on stream so we'll see how it does that's right hit that like button i appreciate that alex thank you very much um yeah i remember you're saying uh, yeah. 
Uh, I remember the days of three lives. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine we go back there? So they was working on AI to play the game for it. Mm-hmm. They were. It was a while ago. I'd be fine with auto uh, boss if it's just an option, though. Obviously, I ain't going to do auto boss because I actually like to play the game instead of game playing itself. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm pretty sure if they do do that, it'll, they'll probably have it like under accessibility, and it'll probably be for everybody as an option. More than likely, it'll probably be for those who have disabilities, if that makes sense. They'll probably push it for those who are disabled so they can have an easier experience in beating bosses, probably. And then that type of mode as well will be, you can probably amplify it for like the journalists who want to have like a speedy review, go through the story, you know, go through mechanics, vice versa. And then those um, reviewers can get reviews out quicker. Maybe, you know, that, that, that's probably the, the plan to, um, to basically uh, satisfy those guys. You never really know. You never really know, man. Make sure this is in good quality. Who just jumped in here? Yeah. Don't worry about it, man. Is that Medina? Perhaps. Oh, it's Medina. What's up, bro? What's up, big pony? <laughs> big <laughs> pony, big pony cloud gaming. What's, what's going on? Oh man, y'all hear the slander I go through for you guys? This isn't slander. This is it's it's not slander if it's true. <laughs> it's always sucker. Yo, good. really, really looking forward to Returnal, man. Unfortunately, still don't have a PS5. But it's uh, all good. That's smooth. Smooth got like three. It's, just... it's all good. He, does, he doesn't have to. He only had one and he sold it. I thought he had two. Nah, nah. He didn't have two. So he sold his only one to Attic. And yeah, Attic he, he had to play games. He doesn't care about Returnal. So he says that he's he's going to wait till Ratchet comes out and get a new one. Ah, uh, I see. What's up, yeah. Itchy? Or Icky? <laughs> but yeah, um, my game share partner already bought the game, so I already have it. But it's just a matter of getting the PlayStation. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. that's the only it's thing. All, <laughs> it's all good. By the time I get a PS5, I'm going to have like a solid month of just playing fucking Spider Man, Returnal Ratchet. Like, I'm going to have a really good time when I finally get it. So it's all good. Unless you guys, I mean, unless you got it, you know, you'll have them, so you'll have access to it when you get it. Yeah, I'll have the game, so that's yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Shit, for me personally, um, shit, you know, I already talked about it earlier, like, uh, my predictions for the Metacritic score, and not so surprisingly, it pretty much is on point with what I said, like, the Metacritic score. Bro, I nailed it. I said 86 yeah. yesterday. I was like 86, <laughs> 85 maybe, and I think, I think Blaze said 87. It was at an 87 earlier, but yeah, um, I was mad. Dropped. I was like, fuck, yeah. I was wrong by one point, but then I was right. So it's all good. But yeah, man, I mean, this is what I expected. I, I don't know if you were there in the room when when Kofi was streaming it on Discord, but oh, he was streaming. See, I avoided all streams for this. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was streaming it like uh, two, three days ago on Discord, and well, he got I it watched. Early? He got it early. He yeah, yeah, he got it early. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, okay. Um. So I got I got in the Discord and I watched him play it for like two hours, man, and it just completely sold me on the game. The game, well, I don't have to yeah. tell you anymore. The Metacritic's out, but yeah, the, the game looks looks heat, dude. So looking yeah, forward to it. Yeah, visually it looked great. No issues with the visuals. It was just, um, I think it's just the the criticism of the game is going to come down to the style of game that it is, which is roguelike. A lot of people don't like challenge. You know what I mean? So. I mean, this is going to be a lot of bums in the community who won't finish the game. Like, uh, one oh, yeah. thing to look out for, one thing to look out for is, like, in a few months, look at that Returnal completion trophy and look at the low ass percentage it's going to have. It's going to have a very low percentage. Yeah. A lot of people are not going to beat that game. That's a good point. That's a good, good point. I mean, I'm going to beat the game. I'm probably going to get the platinum in the game because I fucking love Housemark, but. Yeah, hopefully. I, I know if, a lot of people um, won't beat the game. Hopefully, if things go right, you're gonna love our special guest for tomorrow. We can get him for tomorrow. If not, uh, just come through Monday. You know what I mean? Like we'll we'll have like a special for him Monday. So mm -hmm. you guys gonna love. I'm telling you guys. I, I promise. If we can't get a uh, special guest for you guys tomorrow, just tune in Monday. You guys are gonna be blown away who we got coming through for you guys. Um, Fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm still blown away that uh, we got this as an option. And also, on top of all that, like I said before, tune in the, the, the following Friday. Because the next Friday, you guys are going to be even more blown away who we got. Oh, shit. 
på det här. By the way, I'm about to go get vaccinated, so uh oh, what if, today? If, yeah, yeah, in a couple hours, I'm getting vaccinated. So if that shit, if, if it makes me feel like shit, I will not be on the podcast tomorrow, sir. Oh yeah, I understand, bro. It takes but hope, but hopefully, I'm hopefully I'm fine. And, I don't know how uh, you can pull that out. trash after that amazing pay, um, UFC pay per view that we had recently. I know, bro. That was the best <laughs> pay per view, and I missed it. How the hell, like, bro? Okay. I was talking to Nova about that. How do you miss the best? Bro, I hey, don't know. That's you. just my luck, bro. That's just my luck. The one day you I go back every to the time. city, to... bro. The one day I go to the city to hang out <laughs> with my friends, it's the, the best, best review. review. But it's all good, man. It was fire, though. Man. So, fire. so what's up with the state of play? Because honestly, I didn't even know there was a state of play happening until last night. And I think it was you who told me. Uh, this one's gonna focus on Ratchet and a few in oh, and a few Indians. Ah, oh, man. That's about it. Not that I'm sad because of Ratchet, because the thing is that I, I already know I'm buying Ratchet, so it's like I don't need to see anything else. So I just wish it was other stuff. Yeah, you're gonna get some uh, updates on some indie games or some new indie games probably announced here. They said there's not gonna be any updates on like the console, or no, you know, nothing business related here. Just you know, a few updates and stuff that you uh, that you want. That's about it. So we're gonna see what's up with it. I'm already sold on Ratchet. So Ratchet course, was already, you know, was a day one. It looked incredible. It looks like a Pixar movie times fifteen. What they're able to mm -hmm. do now. So that's really, really good. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'm just, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Sony's got one more game in the tuck for for 2021. Uh, the game I know. They had was well. I know it's supposed to be Horizon. I know it's supposed to be Horizon. I just don't have yeah. any confidence. I don't have any confidence that it's actually coming out. Same with God of War. I don't have, like, I have more confidence with Horizon because we've at least seen something. Right, God of War, right. they haven't shown anything. And right. it's like, I just, like, I don't have any confidence that these two games are coming out. And I just really want them to have one more yeah. other than Ratchet. Just to keep the momentum going. Yeah. And make me happy when I finally get that five because I, I should be having that five within the next couple months. Like, it's, yep. It shouldn't be too much longer. What's up, Crispy? Good to see you, bro. Uh, somebody said you'll you'll probably feel a little dizzy after your first shot. And I think yeah. Marlesco said he has he's getting his second shot next week. Okay. Yeah, I've heard different things from different people all over the place. Some people said they felt totally fine. Some people said they felt like shit. Yeah. So we'll see. What up, Blue Horizon? So when's this starting up? Uh, it starts in seven minutes. Mm. QTK, what's up, girl? What's up? What is up? <laughs> look at Death Singer hating in the chat. That's he always uh, that's man. Look, that's the homie. He always he always hated the chat. He hates on greatness. He, he really do. He hates on greatness that he goes. Oh, I'll wait for. He really do. The other day, he was like, <laughs> yeah, he the other day, matter of fact, it was yesterday. Uh, we were we were talking shit, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I never played God of War 2018." I'm like, "Huh?" He's like, "I could just tell I won't like it, bro." Play the fucking game. Enough, enough, uh, enough of your shit, Death Singer. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if I was yeah. anything at all for this shot. To be honest with you guys, because I already had COVID, and uh, yeah. yeah, I already had it. So we'll see if um, I feel any effects from yeah. it. And you guys have the nerve to call me an X-Bot and, and, and put me in the same sentence as Death Singer. Death Singer be <laughs> hating on everything PlayStation. I play everything, bro. Yeah, Death Singer lives and dies, Xbox. I just don't pile up on Xbox like you and your little cronies do, so. Oh, man. If I, if I don't say Xbox got no games every 10 minutes, then I'm an X-Bot. <laughs> did he say I know what I like in God of War? Ain't it? You didn't like God of War? Oh, uh -huh. man. Oh, man. Def. You know, we know what you like too, Def Singer. You like mediocrity. <laughs> Def, Def wilding with that one. You know what's funny is that yesterday, me and Def Singer, me and Def Singer played um, like an hour and a half of that new thing that's on Game Pass, uh, uh -huh. Second Extinction. Mm -hmm. And mind you, I, I enjoyed it. I had fun. You know, I, I like it. Um, but it's definitely not great. It's like a six and a half, maybe a seven. And mm. it's like Death Singer, you gave that game a chance that you never heard of, never saw. 
played it for an hour and a half. You won't give fucking God of War 2018 an hour and a half of your time to see if you like it? You fucking fraud. He's why he won't, he won't give it an hour a chance because it's, it's in Game Pass. That's why. <laughs> I mean, that is why I tried it, bro, because it was in Game Pass. Because I was... If it wasn't for um, Game Pass, I would not have spent money on the game. Absolutely there, not. There you go. It was Game Pass. That's all it was. That's all it was. It was Game Pass. <laughs> <laughs> that Game Pass uh, support. Uh. There you go. But that game is actually not bad. I, I um, If you have Game Pass, you should try it out. Um, the second extinction joint. Yeah. Um, But it's early access, so it's kind of it's kind of janky. It's not it's not great. Since, you know, Def Singer's the heel, so you gotta throw a tomato at the heel. Tomatoes for Def Chat. I mean, for I said Def Chat. Tomatoes for uh, Def Singer. There you go. In the chat. There you go. There you go. Throw a tomato at him. <laughs> he's, that, he's, that, um, he's that meme with Hannibal Burris. He's like, why are you booing me? I'm right. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just think you need to have a more open mind, Def Singer. Uh, Def, you know, that's the thing. He, he, be, he has an open mind when he's in the chat with us just talking. When he, when he, he really doesn't. You know, he, you bro, know he, he does. Bro, this, yeah, he this, does. Is not an, this is not an act. Def Singer's really like this, bro. He's really a bot. He's not. And the oh, crazy, man. Yo, just for the people who know What's Def up, Singer from the guy? chat, right? See <laughs> who don't talk to Def Singer all the time. Because I talk to Def Singer every day, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so, and so do you. Because the motherfucker, me and you is always talking. So, but yeah. anyway. So, it. Me and Ryan and somebody else, maybe Blaze, we'll be in Discord just talking shit. And we'll randomly just start shitting on Xbox. And you know who always shows up as soon as you mention Xbox or anything bad about them? Fucking Death Singer shows up. Every time. We don't know how he does it. We don't know how he does it. But every time there's negative Xbox talk in the air, in the atmosphere, he just there he fucking is. Shows, he just, he just there he fucking like is. It's like somebody has the bat signal, guys. He just there. He's immediately there. I'm it's talking insane. like uh, my friend Anubis was talking about Xbox like what was like five seconds he, he made like a comparison and lo and behold Def Singer was there Start, <laughs> it was just wild. let me stop <laughs> bullying Def Singer though nah Def Singer's the homie that's a good friend he likes what he <laughs> likes that's true though he likes what he's, he likes what he likes you know what I'm saying that's his opinion I only give it to Def Singer because I know he can take it you know some people you can't really joke around with but Def Singer's yeah now everybody's he's a, uh, stable yeah he's a good he's a good sport about it Unlike that chick, um, what's her face? Yo, th that chick rage quit the industry. That chick that had everyone in the in the community blocked. Oh, bro, I wasn't blocked by her because I didn't even bother. But everybody, I, everybody started sending me stuff for her. Basically, she wants a auto boss beat like feature in all games. So basically, it's a feature where you just press forward, and the game will beat the boss and play the boss for you. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw I saw what she said about playing the. Uh, I forgot what game it was with like auto battle or whatever. Yo, people were roasting that lady because she's like, I'm 38 and my hands are all fucked up. And people were like, that's cat. Uh, people don't have the. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, my hands, my hands, and I'm 29, bro. My hands are so fucked up. And I'm just like feeling bad about myself because they're like, nah, there's no way your hands are messed up at 38. I'm like, yo, my hands are 29 and they're messed up. Like, this definitely happens to people. Yeah. Bro. After a game of Gears of War, bro, my left hand, you know, the, the keyboard hand, that shit hurts, man. So I, I don't know. How my mouse do hand doesn't hurt. It's the keyboard. Well, key, the, mouse is, the mouse is natural. All it is is just resting on the uh, on the keys. That's different. But, but you know. Damn, is everybody yeah, live man. streaming? Yeah, Kopi's live um, streaming. Of course, of course, of course they are. Yeah, but the like, thing is, right, like, because some people are like, oh, don't get keep games. Get games should be accessible to everyone. Okay, listen, fantastic. If, like, for example, let's say you want to experience Dark Souls and it's too difficult for you, let's not give you a fucking mode that makes it so easy to the point where you can just breeze through the game. Why don't you just watch the game on YouTube? Because at that point, that's essentially what you're doing. And that's free. You don't have to spend seventy dollars to do it. You just get on YouTube, watch the fucking game, yeah. and it'll be the same exact thing. If you spent seventy, popped it in your system, and put on autoplay, like don't be a dummy. <laughs> yeah, those uh, what are they called? Um, you see them in every video. It's called uh, the all cutscene movie. Is that what they call them? those playthroughs? You just see cutscenes? Yeah, 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 like a like yeah. a. No, no, it would be like a no commentary walkthrough. It, oh, it you depends. Full like, no commentary, okay. Yeah, full. It depends. I don't know. It depends on what people. There's definitely a couple games that I saw full playthroughs on on YouTube because 
I yeah. liked the story, but I felt the gameplay was weak, so I didn't want to actually play the game. Yeah, but, I know. You saw me play uh, through uh, through uh, the order here. I, I was here for like five hours streaming that. Like the Telltale finish. games, bro? Telltale games? I just watch them shits on YouTube because like playing them to me is just unbearably boring. I can't play them. And, but the story is interesting. It's just that, <laughs> you know, I, I looking you that. around... I just don't enjoy those games, you know? I'll give you that. Like, um, I would say Detroit Become Human was like the ev evolution of that type of style. You know what I mean? Like, it was more free. You could do more stuff. Um, All right. Uh, the, the show's starting, I think. Um, uh oh. Got 12 seconds. Let me, uh, Here we go. Let me, let, me, let me be quiet so we can enjoy the show. All right, guys. Hit that like button. Let's go. Welcome to an all-new State of Play. We've got more than 15 minutes of new Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart PS5 gameplay coming right up. But first, let's check in on two other exciting games coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles this year. Made it to 4546B. Landing was... a bit rough. But I don't think they've spotted me. Hi, I'm Jeff audio producer at Unknown Worlds. Set one year after the award-winning original, Subnautica Below Zero plunges players into a frigid underwater adventure in search of answers. Here, the native wildlife above and below the surface might consider you a tasty treat, assuming you don't become an ice pop first. The previous research crew has vanished, including your sister. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. To uncover the truth, you'll need to get crafty, building tools and shelter for your survival. But even that may not be enough. I told you to stay off my land. With the PS5 DualSense controller, every icy shock feels like it's being sent right into your hands. The haptic feedback system allows you to feel each adrenaline-filled chase and provides visual and audio cues as you use resources, encounter key game moments, or get into situations where it's probably best to run. By the time you squint to see what's ahead, it may already be too late. Fortunately, when you play Below Zero on PS5, players will get a crystal clear experience with up to 4K graphics, targeting 60 FPS when in performance mode. And if you already own a physical or digital version of the first Subnautica on PS4, you'll be able to upgrade to the digital PS5 version at no additional cost. We hope you're as excited as we are to dive into the world of Subnautica Below Zero when it launches on PS5 and PS4 on May 14th. Never heard of this game. Hey. Did you say you never heard of Subnautica? I never played Subnautica. Bro, Subnautica is huge. That game is huge. Oh, snap! <laughs> I personally don't like the game. I think the game's trash, but that's a very big game. It's a very famous game. Oh, okay. I, um, I don't can't enjoy wait the to game. Let's I, go, I Ratchet. I thought I would no, love it. And, and make baseless like accusations it. against our crewmates in Among Us later this year. Looks like Ratchet and the gang are ready for the spotlight. Next up, Insomniac Games will lead us on a tour of this June's PS5 action adventure. I'm Marcus Smith, creative director of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, a brand new full-length Ratchet & Clank adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 console. That's Today cool. we're going to introduce you to some of the gameplay, characters, and arsenal of Rift Apart. 
Whether you've played every game since Ratchet & Clank's debut, or you're brand new to the series, Rift Apart is a standalone adventure that you won't want to miss. Let's get into it. Oh. Clank? Clank? Bruh, look at the ray tracing. Oh, what is this place? Where are you, Clank? Maybe Man, I'm so happy that seen. this like have any of you seen a little gray robot anywhere? PS2 era, just like eyes, the others. Red antenna, Back. very charming. This looks so like, good. I would love like a new Jack game. Ratchet has like, been I don't need one every three or four best years. Friend but and partner Clank. The fact and that is now Naughty Dog just abandoned Jack all together. It don't sit right called with me. Nefarious City. Yeah. Bro, this is this looks next tier. Oh my god. What makes me sad too is that we're probably not gonna see a new Insomnia game good for like four years. Problem. Ratchet quickly finds out what, that what three in this games dimension, in the last three Dr. years now? It's kind of crazy. Much more capable villain. Welcome to the Nefarious City Bazaar. Please City looks amazing. Our marvelous emperor before, during, and after making your purchase. Emperor? Does that mean there are two Nefariouses now? Clank first, Nefarious later. Maybe he's in this bazaar. Thanks to the new hardware, the worlds in Rift Apart are more beautiful than ever. Cities are full of life with traffic and civilians milling about everywhere. Rift Apart is full of the unexpected. Characters in this new dimension are not always the same as they were in Ratchet and Clank's dimension. Ratchet comes across Miss Zircon, the weapon vendor in Rift Apart. Oh, wait a second. You forgot your order. Well, come right in. Mr. Gon will sell you weapons, but you gotta Yo, look be at his less fur, dog. I know. Or the resistance will not last. You saw scruff the, the looks on the face? Yeah, it looks fantastic. A lot of texture. Mm -hmm. Apologies, sugar. Miss Zircon is still new to all of this espionage. Release the hostage. Clank has been taken by a mysterious new Lombax named Rivet. Clank! Hey, you give me back, my little homie. After that ship, how can I get off planet? It's a test. Only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. No. The Phantom can help. Just follow the bait to Club Nefarious and you will Whoa. find him. Club Nefarious, got it. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. Oh, 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 oh. This is so exciting. <laughs> Club Nefarious shouldn't be hard to miss. Better look around. Yeah, and V-Dub. Like, I, I really like Naughty Dog, and I think they're very talented, but I'm not a huge Last of Us guy, and I just wish we'd move on to something new, man. Like the fact that their next game is going to be something new, but it's just going to be a Last of Us remake, that that fucking bothers me. Yeah. Man, this game looks so good. Bro, this is incredible. Phantom, where are you? Once Ratchet finds Phantom, he learns a couple of new moves. Okay, wall running. Hey! Did the wall run? I mean, where's where's the rails? We're not gonna be grinding rails. What's up? No, that's still here. Come to bury us! 
One of the focal points of gameplay in Rift Apart is increased mobility. Ratchet can now dash and wall run to traverse levels. Whoa. This focus on mobility allows players to chain moves together to create exhilarating combos. Rare titanium in your pockets. Yes. Oh, now let's jump on. into combat. A nefarious but where's the real grinder? If you can distract these troops, the I'll hack nefarious' propaganda blip oh, and give see the that city a message it'll never forget. Looks easy enough. Oh my god, this looks so good. <laughs> Dashing allows you to evade attacks or gain strategic advantages. Enemies can't hit what doesn't momentarily. They should have finished the show with this because then, if there's gonna be more stuff after this, nobody's gonna get a fuck. Dimensional tears in the world allow you to use the Rift Tether, another new traversal mechanic to instantly pull yourself across battlefields to escape or flank enemies. Weapons in Rift Apart utilize the power of the DualSense wireless controller's adaptive triggers and haptic feedback to allow mm. players to really feel the power of their arsenal. For example, with the Burst Pistol, players can pull back the trigger partway to peck out accurately placed single shots. But pulling the trigger fully unleashes a rapid-fire spread that covers more area. In either case, players will feel each shot burst from the weapon and connect with enemies. With the Enforcer, players can pull the trigger down halfway to fire a single barrel, reducing time between reloads. Or pull the trigger fully and unleash both barrels with a devastating wow. close-range attack. Thanks to the haptics, the player will feel the power of their shots through their hands. Let's move ahead a little bit. As Ratchet attempts to follow Rivet and Clank, he encounters a nefarious juggernaut. Where did you even come from? Please stand still. During this fight, more dimensional chaos ensues. Thanks to the power of the SSD, we can near instantly teleport players to completely Bro, that's different locations. Crazy. This isn't some small arena being loaded, but the entire level from a different planet. Let's jump over and see what's going on with Rivet and Clank. As you may have guessed, Rivet is a brand new playable character in the series. Where are you taking me? I was gonna take you to my hideout, but first I gotta Don't rescue say. my friends at their gelatonium factory. Rift Apart includes several alternate dimension versions of classic planets from past games. Great. A Did we mention how stunning and alive our worlds are? Thanks to the power of the PS5 and the 3D audio, we've been able to create alien planets with an immersive density like never before. Let's check it out. Speedles, yeah. That's why I'm gonna ride one. Soon as I can get close enough. Back to Ms. Zircon, the weapons vendor. Whoa. This wasn't what was in my account last time. Oh, that is because I added our mutual friend on Nefarious City. Okay. In Rift Apart, you get to play with an explosive new arsenal, as well as a few returning classics. Here's another example of how we're using the DualSense. 
With the topiary sprinkler, players will feel resistance in the trigger as they prepare a throw of this garden grenade. Once on the ground and spitting out its rapid growth plant fertilizer, players will also feel when enemies have been topiaried and are ready to be trimmed down. some dimensional distortion is emanating from that cave. In addition to rift tethering and dimensional shifts, there are also many pocket dimensions scattered throughout the game. And the last speedo runs into that rift thingy. Interesting. You must have a rift tether in your glove too. Smarty bot, what is this place? I, um, a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the Dimensionator's destruction. How do you come up with this stuff? Hey, it's Maynard, the Mortz's helper bot. Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the Speedle. Hitting its nest might get its attention. Well, hello there. Gotcha. Oh, dear. Maybe Maynard can lead me to the morse. Away from this acid. Come on, Maynard! Let's find the morts! Riding speedles is one way of traversing Sargasso's acid swamps, and to do so quickly. Excuse me! Look out! I got it! I got it! See? Sometimes I don't crash. Stop! 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 There's the gelatonium factory. Coming, morts. We didn't follow that Lombax and his robopet across dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzzballs. So you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at. One. <laughs> Hang on there now. What's up, if you watched our previous gameplay demo, you may recognize the goons for less. This rebranded gang has been hired by Dr. Nefarious to attack Ratchet and Clank and are now also trapped in Rivet's dimension. Here's another new weapon. The Shatter Bomb is a frag-type grenade that deals a lot of damage to your foes. With haptic feedback, each explosion feels incredibly impactful. You can find a Lombax. Where are these doofuses coming from? Perhaps they were sucked through the dimensional vortex as well. This is just a small taste of some of the early gameplay in Rift Apart, but there is so much more. We have open areas to explore. Dimensional clank puzzles. Glitch challenges. Arena challenges. Aerial combat. Gold bolts to collect. Pocket dimensions to explore. Armor to obtain and use in the first ever Ratchet and Clank photo mode. <laughs> and giving more people access to playing our games is always important to us. As such, Rift Apart will offer a slew of accessibility options. 
We'll reveal more about this soon. Experience Rift Apart's new planets, weapons, intense high action combat, and near instant load times, all with some of the best visuals we've ever created. How about that, huh? Yeah. Resistance, we promise. These rifts are getting out of hand. On behalf of all of us at Insomniac Games, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the Omniverse on June 11th. June 11th, baby. That's our show. We explored the depths of an alien ocean, got a first look at Among Us on PlayStation, and zipped across space and time in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Wow. Thanks for <laughs> watching. We'll see you again soon. Guys, guy, everybody in the chat, verdict. Oh, hold up. Ratchet and Clank! What a wonderful surprise! What do you want, Nefarious? We're going to a dimension where I always win! <laughs> Clank? Where am I? A Wombax? Who are you? I'm Rivet. Let's go for a ride. Wait, I have to find my friend. Nefarious, you have returned. Yes! Emperor! <laughs> Clank. You're Nefarious. He looks a lot like mine. Evil like him, too. And that Lombax. I'm coming, Clank. If we do not get the Dimensionator now, we may lose every dimension. Oh, my. Final verdicts in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Yeah, what the hell? This was <laughs> not necessary. This wasn't necessary. It was for Ratchet. That's what I said. Focus strictly on Ratchet. Like the game. The game looked cool and shit, but we already know the game looks cool. Like, wh why did we need to see this? Yeah, I, I don't know. That was the thing. Uh, the. The indie games uh, they talked about were, hold on, what was it, Among Us? We're Among Us, we're yeah, Among Us, we're a game that everybody knows about. Yeah, we already know and, that. We got Among Us. And Subnautica, us. a game that everybody knows about except you. <laughs> That's it, though. That was, that was the only two games. There was nothing else. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, uh, like yeah. I'm not sitting on, like, uh, you know, Ratchet, because obviously Ratchet yeah, was Ratchet was, the, just, Ratchet was the star of the show. I, I mean. just don't see why this was necessary. That's all. Yeah, a lot. odd. Little out of the person. Uh, everything from gameplay for it, it looks like this looks like a Pixar movie. It looks top tier. It looks uh, amazing, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was incredible. I mean, you was asking, wait, there's no grinding in the game? No, there's grinding in the game, but um, not in this level, I guess, that they showed. Oh, they were showing off all the new weapons, though. Weapons look good. I don't know, man. <laughs> this comes out, what, June, they said? June 11th? So. We're a few ways away from this, but wow. You said I give it a six out of ten, seven point five, I see eight. <laughs> Chris, you said L <laughs> seven point five. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. The other two announcements weren't really like, um, what's up with that? You know what I mean? Like, what was it? Um the Among Us thing. I think they said uh I think they said accessories for Among Us are now in the game for Ratchet and Clank, so you can make your character look like Ratchet. Yeah, yeah, they got yeah. some skins and then the hats and shit. Yeah, and then, and then Clank itself, uh, the robots in the um, game itself. That's about it. Yeah, that was weird. That that was really weird. You would think um, for this type of state of play, they would give some to Returnal. Yeah, exactly. The game needs that, right? the exposure. Yeah, it's about yeah, to come out. I just noticed that, yeah, because the game comes out tomorrow. 
I was, find that a little odd as well, but yeah. it is it is what it is. I mean, I, I guess, man. I guess. Um, overall, I mean, that's it. That was the show. It was pretty cool for what it was. The game, definitely the star of the show, Ratchet. If I had the rate to shrink off a of Ratchet, I mean, it's high for that. But if I was to count the other stuff, it would bring it down a bit. But that's where I'm at for the show. Not bad, though. Not not a bad, not a bad show. The 15 minutes of watching Ratchet and just seeing how well it is. Like, look at the detail on Ratchet's face. You can see it's like he's scruffed up with all the um, okay. fur. It looks so different. It looks so detailed. Like, that is... Next tier, like look at look at his face, guys. Before I think yeah, it, was really it was it was it was um it was Ratchet PS4. Yeah, I remember we saw like little pieces of hair on the sides of his face in that one. This one is like it's elevated times three. It's it's crazy, but um yeah, it's crazy. I'm I'm blown away. They they wasted one show just for this and nothing else um for it. <laughs> We're done. Wow, he messy. Great game of one shot. Yeah. That's true. I, I agree with that. If you if you wanted strictly just ratchet, then this was probably a ten out of ten, more likely. You just blacked out everything else. But um that's it. That's pretty much the show. Definitely hit that like button if you guys enjoyed. Appreciate y'all coming through. Um We'll see what's up for tomorrow uh, for the special guest for you guys. And obviously, I'll announce it either today or, or tomorrow uh, who our special guest for RGT is, if we can get him for the, tomorrow. But like I said at the beginning of the stream, for those of you that probably join later, um, if we don't have our special guest for tomorrow, we'll have him for Monday. Because we have, we're, more likely, again, if it works out the way I was thinking it was going to work out, it's going to be like a part A, part B thing. So we'll have one particular special guest for tomorrow, and then you'll see the other half of that on Monday. So we'll see what's uh, what's up. But other than that, though, that's pretty much it. That was the state of play. Uh, game looks amazing. All the new updates. The wall running was a nice added feature. A few other things. I'm definitely looking forward to this. And um, we'll be back later on today. We'll be streaming Returnal. So there you guys go. I'll let y'all later, all right? Y'all be good.